So I'm thinking about uh, what to talk to you about today. I want to start with uh, with this month in uh, our language would be Benakweo Gizus. Now I don't know if it's exactly the same with Dave, but it's um, you know means when the leaves start falling. Benakweo Gizus, right? Gosh, Kadno Gizus. Is, is the moon which follows, which is the freezing over moon. Manitou Gizus soon's little spirit moon, Gishi Manitou Gizus, great spirit moon. Then we have a moon called Namaben Gizus. I don't know if you have that one here, but it's a sucker moon. Namaben is a sucker. Referring to, you know, when the suckers are moving under the ice, although we have this discussion at home, it's like, I don't know if that's exactly what they move, but. Um, <laughs> Onabonagesis, Onabonagesis, that's a hard crusted snow moon, that's around March. Ona, also known as the moon you don't want to do a face plant in the snow, right? <laughs> Iskigami Zigigesis, that is our maple syruping moon. Do you have maple trees here? All right, so y'all syrup up here, you know what I'm talking about? Very significant, it's like when the earth wakes up. It's like one of my favorite, well, it, each day is my favorite day. You know what I mean? I'm grateful every day. But uh, I really like that when the earth is waking up and it is the magic is coming through the trees. Then Wabagon and Gizus, that's our uh, flower moon. Odame and Gizus, our strawberry moon. Mean Gizus, our blueberry moon. Manome and Gizus, our wild rice making moon. Our wild rice making moon where we take to the lakes and rivers of our great territory, Anishinaabe King, the only place in the world where wild rice grows. And then we have Wachibaga uh, uh, Gizus when the leaves change color. Now, that, I just wanted to kind of share that with you. Um, many of you may know that as a lot of Anishinaabe people here, and you know, maybe things are a little different in your territory, but, but uh, those are our moons. And I, and I like to say that for a few reasons, because first, I always like to speak you know, to the extent I can, but I, I just like to, to hear our language, you know, because that is the language of this land. It is the language of a king of this land. It's the language that belongs here and it describes a place here and it is, it is language which is from here. And so I think it's always important and non-indigenous teachers need to understand and begin to embrace and allow that in more and more, that language. You know, and, and, and uh, you know, I, I say that first. But the other thing is, is that I think it's a very, very important construct because did you notice that none of those moons is named after a Roman emperor? Did y'all get that? So part of the point of this is that it's, entire, it's, it, it's possible to have an entire worldview that has nothing to do with empire. I just want you to think about that. Because part of this whole moment that we're in that my esteemed elder and friend Dave is talking about, and I was very grateful for your prayers as well, is this moment in time where we're in where it is incumbent upon us to find courage, to find clear thinking, and maybe we need to leave a few bags on the side. Don't carry all that heavy stuff around, it's way too heavy. It is unnecessary to carry all that colonialism and all that. You know, I mean, obviously, the country that is upon me is the United States, and if every day I woke up and thought, Donald Trump is my life, <laughs> I would be very upset. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of like leave that and continue on. And I'm saying it is really important to figure out what is our role as individuals. What is our role in this moment? And what is necessary and what is not necessary to carry along? And so be courageous, because you are, have this opportunity to speak, to, to be present for these young people. You know, what a sacred responsibility and opportunity that is.